Oh, man, well, I've been taken on a flight of fancy. We've heard about people crossing continents. We've heard about people pushing the boundaries of human achievement. So how does this sound? The coldest, driest, and windiest continent on Earth with temperatures reaching minus 89 degrees Celsius. So... Dalil Leela, I'm going to check if he's got all his fingers and toes there. He spent the better part of a year, or in fact more than a year, in Antarctica as part of the 54th South African National Antarctic Expedition. You are still alive, which yeah. um, warrants a, a handshake in itself. Um, but welcome back. Talk to us about South Africa's involvement there. What was the expedition all about? Right. Uh, so South Africa's actually had quite a long, rich history um, with Antarctica. It all started in 1959. And for 54 years after that, we've had around six different Antarctic stations. Wow. So uh, the current station that we're using is called Sinai 4, and it's uh, a research station. Um, so there's all sorts of research um, activity that uh, goes on there, especially during summer. Um, but during winter, we do uh, mainly space science. Summer and winter, you said, like there's, there <laughs> is a difference between it. Talk us through the reality of being in Antarctica. Is it as hectic as it, as it sounds, as we imagine it to be? It's probably more hectic than that. <laughs> um, yeah. So during, during winter, right, depending on where on the continent you are, uh, it's often that there's complete darkness, perpetual darkness during the year. So uh, during our year, um, we had two months of perpetual darkness. Wow. And it's, it's quite surreal and quite strange because I mean, we're so used to this beautiful sun. And, <laughs> Vitamin D. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, being from Cape Town myself, you know, well, now important the sun is. So what so, motivated you? What was the, when did that seed get planted? Well, I'd say I've, I've always been quite adventurous. Um, when this opportunity presented itself, I just had to get my foot in there and I had to just go for it because, um, I mean, there's so few people who've actually lived in Antarctica. Yeah. Um, I think... There should be less than a thousand South Africans that have ever lived there. Um, and internationally as well. It's, it's such a rare opportunity and a, such a special thing. And, and something that you really have embraced, which I love. I would imagine when you're spending two months in darkness where you are completely isolated, the, the relationship dynamics, how you all connect and work with each other, that must be so important. Did you want to murder <laughs> anyone by the end of that 14-month that stint? <laughs> well, we, we were so fortunate with our team. We had such a wonderful group of individuals, and actually before we left, we had a psych evalu evaluation, you know, so we sort of knew <laughs> who were the introverts, who were the extroverts, and we sort of um, used that to our advantage during the year, and we, we actually worked together very well. Um, we had a few hiccups here and there, but otherwise it was, it was just great. Why do you think it's so important that we do these, that we, we do push the boundaries of human endeavor in this way? Well, you know, it's such a it's it's such a it's, it's such a rich landscape and such an unknown continent. It was first sighted in 1820. Yeah. I mean, it's just such a, a rich place for you know getting a peek into the unknown. And uh, the Earth's magnetic field in that region is so special because it's directly vertical. So because of that, we're able to measure stuff that we won't be able to measure anywhere else in the world. It's wow, very, man. very amazing. Did you put your name forward to go to Mars, hey? <laughs> we, after, after watching um, uh, one of these movies during the year, like... The Martian, no, probably. The Martian. <laughs> you know, there was, there was this, yeah, there was this scene that just got all of us. It was totally dark. The base was shaking. You know, there's probably like... Um, Feels like home. Yeah, like 150 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, no, not, not oh, again. Oh, man, yeah. Dalil, I'm glad we've got you back in South Africa for at least a stint now, but um, congratulations on achieving something very special. I think this is going to inspire a lot of young engineers, a lot of Definitely. young scientists out there. You man. know, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's very important that we realize our connection with Antarctica. I mean, South Africa was one of the original 12 signatories of the Antarctic Treaty. And I feel like, you know, with... Uh, uh, the Department of Environmental Affairs and uh, SANSA, South African uh, Space Agency, with their involvement in this uh, beautiful continent, we could really um, inspire so many, so many of the uh, generation to come. So many scientists and engineers. Oh, and dude. I just think it's beautiful. There could be no better way to do it. Dalil, oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much, man. Awesome to connect with you. Well, we were talking about that other generation, that next generation. Time now to speak to one of the experts. Nikki Bush is in the house.